What's up, YouTube? This is John Hammond, uh, again showing you some more of Natus from Over the Wire, this time level 13. So, level 13 works a lot, very, very, it's, it's very, very similar to Natus 12. Um, if you run the same script we've been working with before, just a Python script to be able to get the contents of the web page, um, we can view the page here, and it says, for security reasons, we now only accept image files in the upload, or that, that file upload functionality we've been working with in the previous level. So, it looks like it has the exact same functionality, it's just that it says we only accept image files. So let's verify that. Let's take a look at that index source HTML page and see what it is they really do in the code to uh, verify that it's a it's an image file that we're uploading, not, not a PHP script. So once that's downloaded, um, let's go ahead and clean up that, all of the, the, the code here. Looks like we still have that gen random string, make random path, and make random path from file name functions. Looks like the only thing that has really changed here is this big uh, test if the key exists, the file name we're posting. So if we actually upload a file here, tests for the file size again, tests, uh, oh, here it is here. If not exif image type uh, files uploaded file temp name, so if that doesn't return true, it explains that the file is not an image. Okay. Um, let's, I, I guess we'll just see what uploading our, our original function will do. If we want, I suppose. Um, let's save this and put it in a, a separate pane so we can look at the source code in a second. But I want to run this just to see what happens. And in it, it says, File is not an image. Okay, so whatever it is, our PHP script here is not passing that test. So take a look back at the source code. The function that we're looking at is exif image type. So what I thought this did, just kind of looking at it off the top of my head, was uh, I thought it was viewing the content type of the file that we upload. Because normally it'll pass along like in, in the HTTP post request or whatever it is that you do, um, it'll say like, oh, image JPEG or image PNG or image GIF or whatever. Um, and that is carried along like with the upload. You can actually get in the middle of this in uh, the request module if you wanted to, just like with this functionality here that we're looking at in the documentation. And you can do that. You can make the change in burp suite or whatever you wanted to, just change that raw uh, HTTP like communication if you wanted to. But when I looked at this function more in depth, it turns out it wasn't doing that. I went ahead and researched what does this exif image type really do, and it says it reads the first bytes of an image and checks its signature. So, okay, um, that means that we must have to do something special with our um, the PHP script or the file that we're trying to upload to actually get it to get onto the box. So if we were to run file on what our thing is right now, what are, what the f script is or the, the file that we want to upload, it'll tell us, okay, reading the first couple bytes of this, you can tell it's a PHP script. But if we want it to, if we, if we want the server or the website to read the first couple bytes of an image and check the signature, we can't have it determine that it's a PHP script, we have to make it think that it's something like, I don't know, a GIF image, or a JPEG image, or a PNG, etc, etc, etc. So, you, we, and any other intelligent or people trying to get around these things can make a change to this file that isn't going to be too detrimental. It'll still operate the same way we would expect it to if we wanted to be running PHP code, but um, we can include something like a special magic header or the magic bytes of a PNG image or a JPEG image, or probably the most easiest use case is a GIF image. Because a GIF magic header is just the word GIF and then 89 lowercase a. And then if we go back to our command line, we can think that file rev shell PHP is actually a GIF image, version 89a. And it totally gets the dimensions wrong, which is really, really funny. But, but that's the gimmick. That's the that's the the kind of hack we can do here. And just like that, we can trick the web server 
to thinking that we're uploading a real image. Now if I post this, it says, okay, cool. The file uploaded this guy has been successfully uploaded. So just like that, just making that quick change in that in that remote code execution PHP script, just adding that GIF 89 at the very, very top, the first couple bytes, we should be in. Let's go ahead and change that uh, function call to get with the uploaded file. And let's run who am I or something, make sure we've got it. Run this command. Our GIF 89 alpha is up there, but we also get NAT is 13, so we get code execution. So let's cat out the password for the next level with our code execution capability. Run this, and just like that, we get the password. Sweet. Not a huge change from this level, but a really good thing to note. Just easy GIF 89 alpha or 89 lowercase a. I don't know why I'm saying alpha. <laughs> I'm nautical Coast Guard kid. Um, that will uh, that will work for us. So let's go ahead and create a new script for Natus 14. Easy. We're cruising right along. Thank you guys for watching these. Hope you're enjoying them. Uh, if you are, please like the video. Maybe leave me a comment tell me what you think, what else you'd like to see. Uh, share this video. Tell your friends and coworkers. And if you're willing to subscribe, and guys, uh, see you in a later video.